Hello my reading friends today we are going to read I need a hug by Aaron Blabby Let's start I need a hug will you cuddle me hello What with those spikes get away from me sure I need a hug will you cuddle me can help it's that prickly things i did again i need a hug will you cuddle me jo cuddle you i won't no 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 one will hug me that's not very kind but hey wait a minute you have all changed your mind Gosh all i did was ask for a kiss Well isn't that lovely Yes how about this The end big the tourist by Aaron Babbin Let's start Pig was a pug and I am sorry to say when he went on vacation he had caused great dismay You could make careful plans to ensure happy travel but pig would destroy them he had made them unravel with behavior so bad is it hard to describe he would dampen your trip and he had ruined the vibe he had break all the rules and he had flaunt all traditions causing disaster was a big big ambition even in places of wild celebration he had sh- somehow create absolute dis- devastation and if he could shatter some ancient taboo he wouldn't think twice that applied yahoo parties parades and processions got Break in a blizzard of jaws and for disrespect. His insensitive antics would ruin your stay. Till then, locals would gather and shout, "Go away!" But they wouldn't stop him. He had a rock. and he had rolled till this rockling horse play spum out of control and bravely and west was his need to offend but every wild party must come to an end yes if you treat locals with little regret they will come back to bite you and boy they bite hard these days is different i am happy to say he is learned not to ruin the whole holiday but let us be honest the truth i must tell although he might try Pig does not travel well. The yeah. Pig the Pug by Aaron Blabby. Let's start. Pig the Pug. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a 
when a dog trivial but when was he is nice to him i will tell you never you have got some great toy there poor trivial would say but big would just grumble they are mine go away but it might be more fun trivial said to big if you both played together well big flipped his wing no they are mine don't you hear only mine you keep your paws off them they are mine 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 i know what your game is you want me to share but you will never do that i won't and i swear and with that he proceed to gather him stuff and make it big pile with a huff and puff and once he had a girl he had gathered them up in a pile he howled from the top with a selfish smile there shouted big now you won't get my loot it's mine 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 so why don't you scoot but just at that moment poor true true did see that piles was wobbling oh dear me watch out up there good tree we did cry but the shape of it was well bugs cannot fly these days it's different i'm happy to say it is so very different in most every way yes big shares his toys now and retrieves his friend and they both play together while pigs on mend the yeah posy flossy by palet bowen let's start boss flossy was bossy sit up straight look at me listen to me pay attention do what i tell you she was bossy to her cat come back here i am talking to you mr she was bossy to her little brother you should do it like this one time she was even bossy to her mother no you go to your room flossy went to her room i am not bossy i am not mom is bossy she always tell me what to do she never listen to me i am just trying to tell her something flossy was bossy at school give me that i will show you how you should wear this she was bossy to her, her classmates she was bossy to her lunch lady put my potatoes on this plate not that plate one time she was even bossy to her teacher no mrs rasad rasado you go to time out flossy went to time out i am not bossy mrs rasado is bossy she always tells everyone what to do they do what she tells them why don't they do what i tell them no one never listen to me then flossy meets edwards i'm edwards i'm flossy edwards was bossy to everyone climb like this line up here swing like me edwards was even bossy to flossy 
walk faster now jump no more jumping time to march flossy got mad you are not the boss of me well you are not the boss of me flossy and edwards argued all through art class i am not bossing you yes you are and lunch listen to me no you listen to me and nap time you never listen no you never listen i am trying to tell you something edward and flossy went to time out i am not bossy she is bossy it's your fault she should just listen to me i don't like it when you tell me what to do i am not bossy he is bossy it's his fault he should just listen to me well i don't like it when you tell me what to do well i will stop it if you will stop it okay i will stop it if you will stop it now flossy and edwards are not so bossy can i show you how to do that good climbing i could show how you another way marching is good jumping is good too ever turn next edward except sometimes you can be pretty bossy i know you can be bossy too well not as bossy as you i think you might be bossier oh ho i don't think so i double think so well i triple don't think so the end when when day a family story by nick bishop let's start morning has come and baby penguin is hungry baby penguin is too little to get breakfast so mama penguin will go hunting Papa penguin will stay behind to keep an eye on the little one. Mama penguin has a big journey ahead of her. She and the other penguins will travel far to get food for their families. They will scamper over hills and climb down cliffs. They will hop across sand. until finally they reach the sea the sea is dangerous and filled with predators like orcas and the sea lions the penguins are nervous there is there is safely in a numbers so mama and uh, the other penguins all jump it at once they dive under water and ride the waves hunting for fish and krill meanwhile back at home baby penguin is getting hungry and uh, hungry and really wants to eat baby penguins wandered off to visit some friends but they are too sleepy to play The baby penguin waddles away alone. Far away, mama penguin is fi- filling her belly with fish and krill. So she will be on her way home to feed her baby. The penguins leap from the sea. They have a quick rinse and start the journey home. while walking baby penguin sees something in the sky it says koa and she is just as hungry as baby penguin the koa swoops down on baby penguin but papa penguin saves the day he frightens off the koa now baby penguin is safe papa penguin and baby penguin head back to the colony where mama penguin is waiting with food now baby penguins can eat 
Papa Penguin is happy to see Mama Penguin too. It has been a long day and Baby Penguin is tired. Sleep tight, Baby Penguin. The end. Diana has winter treats. Let's start. Diana is ready for busy night at her restaurant. One Diana's palace is full of friends. One day the weather gets very cold. The heater is broken. Diana looks for the coat. It is too cold for Louis. It is too cold for Naveen. No one wants to go out. Diana misses her friends. That night Diana walks outside. It is snowing. Diana loves snow. It makes the cold fun. The snow looks like sugar. Diana has an idea. She will have a winter party. She bakes sweet treats. The treat smells yummy. Even Louis notices. Diana sets out treats and warm drinks. Louis plays music. Diana's friends come. She greets her guest. Diana and her friends make snow angels. The band plays. Everyone cheers. Winter is fun with friends. The end. Hugs and kisses for the crunchy ladybug. Let's start. Hugs and kisses will make you smile. Clap. Jump for joy. Stand tall. And swing from tree tops. You just might strut your stuff. Kick up your heels. Blush. And feel warm and fuzzy. So remember, just like you. Even a grouchy ladybug need hugs and kisses too. The end. Home with a very hungry caterpillar. Let's start. When you were monkey mind feels too busy just stop and breathe to clear the cobwebs from your head with each slow breath try counting one from one to ten how do you feel happy sad jumpy calm now let Throw it across your mind like cloudy floating in the sky. Still feeling fluttery. Take few deep breaths and smile. The end out, friends. Let's start. We bonuses give the bits a bounce. Ray, Whirly, Crush and Jack fly into the sky. Rusty is in the air too. They all land safely. But what is still up in the sky? It's land close by. Rusty and Ruby and the bits check it out. Ruby scans it. It is Orbit. He is from outer space. He is far from home. Can Rusty and Ruby help Orbit get back home? The friends came up with an idea. Rusty turns up Booster's Botosaurus power. He will send Orbit home with a big kick. But now Orbit is missing and so is Jack. We 
Orbit and Jack are at the playground. Rusty and Ruby tell Orbit, we can get you home. Jack does not want Orbit to live. Bortuser launches Orbit, but Orbit flies the wrong way. Next, they try a jetpack. It loses power. Jack makes a house for Orbit. He wants his friend to stay, but Orbit must go home. Rusty and Ruby build a shuttle. Ruby has another surprise. She had put a camera on Orbit. Now Jack can help it touch with his far out friends. Goodbye, Orbit. Thanks for visiting. The end. Christmas cheer for the grouchy ladybug. Let's start. Christmas cheer for the grouchy ladybug. Christmas means joy for all. Wah, Hamburg. Snowflakes gl glisten white and fires burn bright. Time to have all balls. Wah, Hamburg. Bells ring and everyone sings. No matter how big or small. Presents wait under the tree and you just might see stockings hug on the wall. Shh, do you hear why it is? All of our friends speeding holiday cheer. Christmas bring out the very best. Even in those crunchier than rest. Merry Christmas. The end. I hope you love these books friends. See you next time with a different book. Bye bye.